April is seatbelt month. Officers on general patrol and spot checks like this one last week at the top of Pine Street are designed not just for enforcement but awareness as well. We're looking for people not wearing it or not wearing it correctly. They have some people put the lap or the, sh the shoulder belt underneath their arm. Uh, the fine for not wearing it properly is the same as not wearing it at all. So you might as well have it on properly. The fine is $240, and if you're driving the vehicle, also two demerit points off your license. If you're a passenger, it's $240. Uh, with no demerit points, but uh, and also if the person in the vehicle under 16, the driver is responsible for their fines as well. A few years ago, they passed a law which says that every person in the vehicle uh, must be uh, have a seatbelt on. So uh, the days of packing up the minivan with 10 people are gone. Uh, there have been some serious uh, fatalities in southern Ontario, specifically where a minivan is rolled with several people not buckled in, and uh, because of that, uh, now every person in the vehicle must have a seatbelt on. The airbags don't take the place of a seat belt. It's all part of the same system. If you're not in place for the airbag to uh, properly uh, protect you, then it won't do you any good. In fact, it may harm you more than help you. If you're properly belted in, uh, you're ready for a collision, uh, you're ready and there you'll be less chance of being seriously injured or killed. The fine for not wearing a seat belt is pretty steep, but the consequences for not having a seat belt on in an accident could be the highest price, your life. Common things are, uh, that uh, I'm just going for a short trip. Uh, I'm just, uh, I'm not going very fast. I wear it on the highway, I don't wear it in town. Uh, but however, uh, collisions, even fatalities obviously happen in town. You never know when you're gonna be in a collision. So as soon as you get in that vehicle, you should be buckling up. If you're not buckled in, uh, that you're gonna be probably ejected from the vehicle. And if you're ejected, your chances of being killed in that accident are very high. In my own personal experience, in 21 years of policing, I've seen several cases when uh, people have been in an accident one person's buckled in, they're fine, another person was ejected and they were killed. Uh, and we just had one last week. We had a vehicle rollover uh, involving three people, two buckled in, uh, one person was not, they were ejected, they received serious injuries, the other two received very minor injuries. Just in case you think you have a good excuse for not wearing a seatbelt, you might as well forget about it, because officers have heard them all. And the fact remains, the most recent Ontario statistics show that people in collisions were 32 times more likely to be killed if they were not wearing a seatbelt. Yeah, for the most part, people are compliant, but there is a small percentage that still uh, aren't complying. So far, being now today the 11th of April, we've issued 26 charges this month. Um, last year, this for the whole month, we issued 84. So surprisingly, people still aren't complying. It's a small amount, but, uh, but they're still out there. Wearing your seatbelt could not only save your life, it's the law. For Shaw TV, I'm Jonathan Perrier.